So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to go over um, for our chapter seven is to go over a couple things. And one of the first things that I want to go over is a ratio. Okay? And a ratio is very simply a comparison. of two quantities, okay? Like we could have the ratio of boys to girls in this classroom, right? We're comparing how many boys are within the classroom compared to how many girls are within the classroom. Zach, I'm gonna ask you one time if you can make sure you put that down, face down on your desk, and then that will be it, okay? Um, so it's a comparison of two quantities. And, there, and there's a lot of different ways that we like to write a ratio, and one of the important things is we usually like to write our ratios in simplest form, OK? Therefore, if I say there's eight girls to 10 boys, we're not going to leave it as eight girls to 10 boys. We're going to reduce that, OK? Reduce that down to simplest form. So Sam, when we look up here, um, this would be four to five, all right? Now, there's two different ways, a lot of different ways that we're going to go ahead and represent ratios. We can say A to B, A colon B. And the most common way that we're going to use it is using a division as far as A over B. And that's mostly what we're going to be doing in this class. However, we will do a little bit of that, and you probably might see some others. OK? That's a ratio. So as I mentioned, um, when I am going over these problems or